Hi guys, this is Gottinger Hack, and this is the second series of uh, how to's on how to turn your uh, <clears throat> toy piano keyboard into the MIDI controller. And in this series, we are adding velocity sensitivity and aftertouch effect. So the most common implementation of velocity sensitivity uh, sensing is done uh, by timing the how fast the key, each key on the keyboard, being pressed. And it's done by uh, using uh, two sets of uh, buttons for each key. So the first one will, will measure on event, so when the key just pressed, and the second one will measure the complete key press. And the time difference between uh, these two events will correspond on the, uh, to the speed of how fast you press the key. Will be converted to the volume. So that's the most common implementation. So after sort of thinking about it. Um, no, it would be boring if I just repeat the same thing. So I have decided to explore another path uh, and I have used the uh, four sensitive resistors. Uh, using the four sensitive resistors, uh, uh, sensing the how hard you press the key instead of how fast you press the key. Okay. So after that, it was also implemented based on the four sensitive resistors. As, as after effect, I have used the modulation wheel, which is basically a quite common effect that most of the scenes respond to. So uh, let me just show you on one one of the examples here. So let's see. So okay, so we press the key. It measures the velocity first, and then it starts sending the modulation wheel. So as you can see, it's already sending it. Let me release re it a bit. Press it harder. Release it a bit. Press it harder. After one second, you can see the modulation descent, releasing, pressing, releasing, pressing. So what, what, what you see here is what actually been added to the keyboard, the FSRs. Okay, so FSRs, four sensors are located here. So it's first sensor, second sensor, third sensor, and fourth sensor. And they all just plug into the analog uh, input of Arduino, all right? So it's very simple schematic. So you just connect these four sensors to the Arduino. The challenge was to place those sensors in a keyboard so that the upper, um, so that the, the keys, when they press, they gently touch, they just gently touch the sensors and they do not, um, they, they don't immediately utilize the whole range of the FSRs. So they, they don't produce sound sort of close to the maximum volume. But cool. So as I said, I found this to be a best location in the keyboard. So but this is basically a design I have used, but you are welcome to uh, uh, experiment and sort of think what else could be done. Uh, I was also thinking about placing it somewhere underneath the push buttons, but you know it uh, it didn't work out well. Uh, probably it would be better from the precision point because you know it sort of all tights nicely, not with the screws here to the plastic, and doesn't produce too much of the drift. So you can see that uh, each black button was extended by one centimeter. So I, I blew up the straw. Uh, straw to the each of the black button tail, so to sort of to, to to grow some sort of leg or tail on the black buttons. So the white buttons were, were already sort of uh, factory produced to to uh, have these long legs, and but I had to grow the black buttons so the black buttons could touch the bus, the FSR uh, sensors. Interesting thing about this implementation uh, uh, with the four channels, so uh, what you could do is you could actually set every channel to different uh, instrument here. Say, say sort of... Uh, the brass trumpet. Okay, and the last one, say we can set a... I don't know. Um, Say drum set, 
should probably be the, the very first one, but... Cool, isn't it? <laughs> 